Hello there, and welcome back to the Chaps Guide. And another outdoor shave of the day and product review all rolled into one. You'll know that the Chaps Guide is a channel where we talk about men's grooming, men's style, and self-development tips, and anything that'll help you on your journey to being the best chap that you can be. And for me, being the best chap I can be is being a well-shaven, fragrant gentleman. So today I'm going to have a shave using some new products that I haven't used before or partially not used before. Firstly, I'm going to use a new razor. Um, I've been using feathers razor blades for a long time. So I thought I'd treat myself to a feather razor. And this is one of their kind of uh, uh, budget popular double edge razors. And I bought this just the other day. Actually, I'm cheating a little because I have used it once. I wouldn't use a razor straight from the packet without knowing how it works and having sanitized it. So out from the packet comes this lovely little travel container, which opens like that. And inside we get our razor and a pack of feathers razor blades, as you can see there. So that's quite handy. I'll just put that down to one side. Let's talk about the razor itself. It's a twist to open, a slightly unusual one, where you twist as a collar at the neck, which you twist to open. So it's a butterfly opening. And inside I have a feathers razor blade, as it's a feathers uh, product review today in a way. And uh, there we go. And it's a plastic shaft, twist to open. Uh, it's partially, partial of the head is actually uh, steel and the rest is plastic as you can see. So it feels light and, you know, uh, inexpensive, but we'll give it a try. I've used it once just to give it a run. And this is the second use of this blade as well. But the thing I'm really looking forward to today to trial is this, and it is the latest fragrance from Taylor of Old Bond Street. Hope you can see the label. And it's Taylor of Old Bond Street Tobacco Leaf shaving cream. Now I'm a big fan of Taylor's. I've been using their products for many, many, many a years. In fact, it's probably the oldest product, uh, you know, brand that I've been using when it comes to wet shaving. And I, I really do enjoy their fragrances. I think they make excellent cream, marvelously fragranced. This is an interesting fragrance. It says made with cedarwood oil on the label, and I'm a real big fan of cedarwood oil. So I'm looking forward to giving this a try. So let's give it a go. So what other products am I using today? Just so as you know, I'm in my mobile outdoor shaving station today, which is different to my static one, which is in another location. As you can see, hopefully, I'm at the top of a three acre field, which I just helped just the other day uh, remove the bales of hay off it. So, uh, you know, we're really in the country here and you can just see off into the Somerset countryside way behind me. So hopefully that's uh, a beautiful backdrop to my shave today. It's a nice warm July day and uh, we're going to enjoy this shave. So what else am I using here today? Well, let me just reach down in my little bucket or cup of water. My silver Taylor of Old Bond Street shaving brush has been just steeping, so it's lovely and perfect. And uh, that's it, really. I've got some hot water in a little shaving mug here. And to help me whip up my lather, I've got a little enamel bowl, as always. So let's get a little bit of water on the brush, and I'm going to dip it into this never been used by me before. Ooh, it's looking good. Um, tobacco leaf shaving cream. And I'll talk about the fragrance in a moment when we get started. But let's get it whipped up. Let's get it whipped up into a lather. And we'll see what, what it comes to. Oh, I've got to say, straight away, as is typical with old Bond Street stuff, if you can see that, funny old light here today, but it is nice, nice lather indeed. And uh, I'll just put a little bit more water in there, just to make sure it's nice and fluffy, just the way I like it. Wow, that lathers up beautifully. The product is getting better and better. I'm just going to dampen the face. Got a little bit of water here just for that purpose. There you go. That's it. Dampen the face. And now I'm going to apply the shaving cream in time-honored fashion. Now, if you see me looking this way, it's where the mirror on my mobile shaving station is. So it's not that I'm looking at the camera. I'm looking to the left where my mirror is. Oh, my word. Lovely. Oh, so two and a half day stubble to get rid of today. I've left it specially. I knew this shaving soap was coming today. And actually, I got two little deliveries from bon, uh, Taylor's of Bond Street today. Um, I got this lovely tobacco leaf and also their new uh, lemon or lime zest fragrance, which I'm very much going to look forward to trying in a future video, actually. 
but uh, oh, this goes on as usual. I mean, I gotta say, tailors make superb shaving accoutrement, as they have for you know decades and decades. And I, it's it's a byword for 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 quality. I think for me, um, tailors, tailors and trumpers. I think they are the two brands which uh, I feel quite comfortable buying anything from, knowing that it's going to work. It's going to be great. Over the years, I've pretty much used every one of their different fragranced shaving creams and uh, they're all good. It's just personal preference, what you like. Um, and this one, how can I describe it? Does it smell like tobacco? <laughs> well, not really. It's got a slightly different smell to it. it. Doesn't really smell like cedar wood either. I love this cedar flavored, uh, cedar wood flavored shave cream. It's probably one of my all time favorites in fact, but this, Got a bit of an unusual smell. I, I can't, wouldn't like to describe it. There's a hint of tobacco in there for sure. Hint of tobacco. Right, and it's, it's gone on very well as usual. Now my razor, I've just had in my hot water mug here and let's give this a try. I've used this once before, that is all. So I'm gonna give it a go. And it feels quite light and insubstantial in the hand, I think. So I've just wet the top of it to warm it up in the hot water and I'm going to give it a go. Let's draw it across the skin. See what we get. Getting rid of that hefty stubble, no trouble. And as I say, the blade, normal feathers blade, second use. Second use. Oh yeah, okay, nothing wrong with that. It's all coming off in the usual fashion. Um, how do I feel about the blade? Uh, sorry, the razor itself. Mm. I mean, as I say, I've tried it once before already and I, I formed an opinion then. Um, using it now, it doesn't feel great, I gotta say. It's not the same as using an all steel or a, a, a metal razor. This cost 12 pounds. I purchased it from Amazon and I really tried it because it was so inexpensive. It's quite, uh, although it's sort of a plastic, I don't know, knurling you might call it on the, on the handle. Uh, with wet hands, it's very slippy I've noticed as well. So a uh, little bit of a issue there. It's shaving okay though. Perhaps I'm just used to using steel and you know, when you've used steel and you go down to plastic, it does feel cheap and insubstantial. But no, it's okay. I can live with that. And the shaving cream, doing the usual job that Taylor's always does, which is first class. So this tobacco leaf, I think was 12 pounds 50, something like that, 12.95, for a nice 150 gram tub, which will last me a long time, because I use them in rotation, lots of other different ones as well. So it's not like I'm using it constantly. There we go, how's that? That's nice. I enjoyed that. Good shave on that side. And uh, yeah, you can't really go wrong with this cream, can you? I mean, having tried a few different recent ones using soaps, expensive stuff as well, you know, I've recently used some very expensive stuff from uh, Floris in their shaving soap. Three times the price, at least twice the price of this. Doesn't come anywhere near the quality, I gotta say. Um, so you can get, you know, some good stuff, not expensively. And this is one of the beauties, I think, of wet shaving with a double-edged razor. You learn these little hacks, don't you? You get this fabulous experience of shaving with good quality products. So much better than having to shave with a with a with a cartridge razor, which costs more. This is bizarre when you think about it how we've all been lulled into that marketing situation where they think using a cartridge razor is the best. There we go. First pass, nice and quick, nice and easy. As I say, two and a half days of stubble, gone. Um, not bad. It is an effective shaver, there's no doubt about that. So I'm gonna get straight on and do a second pass now. I'm not even gonna wet my face, I'm just gonna, because this is such good stuff. I'm gonna get it straight on and uh, we'll get on with it. What a day. It's been quite overcast really. It's not particularly sunny. It's mid-July. I don't know when this will go out on YouTube, but uh, 
we had a fabulous early you know summer late spring in the uk and in traditional sign times when uh, kids are about to have their summer holidays the weather's gone a bit you know overcast uh, this is really good quality soap it formed such a lovely cream i gotta say it's uh, as good as any of the other ones i've been using a lot of geo trumper stuff george trumper stuff lately very impressed um, using their lime essence of lime shaving cream and also their my absolute favorite is their english leather beautiful beautiful fragrance um, but this is the equal of anything this is the equal of anything it's just a matter of whether you prefer the different fragrances looking forward to the zesty lime one right so i where did i shave i shaved down so i'm going to shave across the grain for my second pass nice and close i find that with this plastic razor because of its lack of weight obviously it's very insubstantial you have to push it into the face of it to get it to do the same closeness of cut as you would with a metal razor just by allowing its own gravity to do the work for you but you know it does its job and it's very inexpensive at the end of the day or is it this cost 12 pounds and uh, not too long ago i used a wilkinson sword double-edged razor which was um, 10 pounds much much better than this i have to say much much better uh, this is japanese construction so you know it's going to be fairly good quality whereas the wilkinson sword stuff all china so you know we're all in the far east these days it does bother me to a degree the fact that we're so reliant for manufacturing on countries which are thousands and thousands of miles away when we used to have our own capability of making these things. I think it's a tragic sign of the times, but there we go. So, there we go. So I hope all is well with everybody out there and you're all enjoying what parts of the summer you can make the most of. In the circumstances, of course, the world's starting to get back to normal. But we're constantly under the threat of, you know, sort of uh, spikes in this terrible virus that has affected everybody's lives. So we're making the most of what we can. No summer holidays abroad. But then again, I often say to people, you know, we live in a fabulous country here in the UK. And, uh, you know, we don't explore our own country. We're also quick to travel abroad because of the weather. That's what everybody says, isn't it? The weather. But if you can get the weather in this country you'd probably have not many equals in the world for you know the type of environment we have here beautiful countryside thousands of miles of coastline and uh, some of the most historic and interesting cities in the world in many cases you know when you're talking about places like london edinburgh york all these other places so it's time for us to reacquaint ourselves with our own country those of us who live in the UK wherever you live in the world you know I'm sure you'll be taking a renewed look at your own countries now that we don't have the world as a playground and we might not have it for some time there we go just tidying up some of the bits I missed and there was my shave there was my shave so first of all oh, a bit of water on the face just to ah, get that off there mmm it's good it's good what do i think about that tobacco leaf then well it's an unusual flavor the performance of the cream is excellent you know i could shave another three times with the amount of foam that that has created so from that point of view it's superb um, and i can't fault it the fragrance it's not my top three from taylor's from taylor's i really love uh, their cedar wood is fantastic. Their sandalwood is also great. I like the woody fragrances. I also like their lime and their grapefruit is superb. You know, and all of the other ones are great. Uh, that one, it's going to be outside my top five in reality, but I like it. You know, I'll keep giving it a try. What am I putting on here? I'm applying some Humphreys um, Witch Hazel, in the citrus version, because I have had a bit of irritation. Oh, I've got a little nick there. Uh, a little bit of irritation from shaving so closely recently. So I am just protecting myself with a little bit of Humphreys Witch Hazel, rub it into the skin and uh, mm, that's always good. Good astringent, anti-infection, anti-inflammatory, 
looks after it. The skin, biggest organ in your body. And let's be honest, it holds us all together. <laughs> Without the skin, we'd be a right old bloody mess, wouldn't we? So, there we go. So the witch hazel there, naturally protecting my skin. Uh, so it's very good. Now, fragrance-wise, I wanted a pair um, for that tobacco leaf, layer it up with something which would be appropriate. And as I said, tobacco, uh, and it's true, and now it's been on me for a little while, I, I am getting whiffs of, uh, whiffs of sort of tobacco-y. Reminds me of the old pipes that people used to smoke. They get the odd hint of that now through the, through the old nose. So it is, it is quite tobacco-y in a way. Um, when it grows on you. So I wanted to look in my collection for something which had a tobacco influence and it wasn't that much really but um, I'm about to do a review on a new cologne which I, uh, well it's not new, new to me though, a cologne which I haven't used ever before uh, which was a bit of a thing in its day and that's Corum, um, a lovely Corum and uh, this was a bit of a powerhouse fragrance from the 1980s. It's, it's a strong strong fragrance quite uh, powerful uh, very citrusy but in the base notes it is also renowned for being quite woody with a leathery tobacco-y fragrance I've only tried it once or twice um, just in the early you know I'm about to do a review video on it so um, and it's so cheap this was only about 12 pounds so a bit of a cheap day on the products today so I'm gonna give it a go a little bit of a, I'm gonna use it as an aftershave it's an eau de toilette but uh, what the hell what the hell? Let's give it a go. Oh yeah. So yeah, there's alcohol in that. I can tell by the zing. It's all good stuff. <coughs> but uh, oh yeah, it's citrus, deep citrus flavour. Um, also slightly floral, bit of floral in there. But the citrus is really pungent. Bit of orange, bit of lemon, bit of lime. Goes quite well with that tobacco-y uh, tobacco. What's it called? Tobacco leaf fragrance of the shaving cream. That's good, skin feels great. One final point though, I have used uh, shaving cream, I've used the eau de cologne as an aftershave, so I'm just gonna apply some balm, which of course will protect the skin and replace some of those oils which have been moved away by the uh, application of the blade. Let's put this down. And just gonna, and of course what this will also function will do it will lock in the fragrance of the corum as well. So there we go. That is really nice, I have to say. Lovely close shave. A feathers blade will really treat you wrong if you look after it, I'm sure. That feathers razor, which I have here, just in my mug, I'll just flick it off. Oh, there we go. 12 quid? No, not for me. Um, you know, it's, it's in the collection now. It won't be used regularly, I can tell you that. I've used it twice, and you know you normally get an, uh, an instinct about something. It's okay, but for the same amount of money, you can have a twist to open steel razor made by Wilkinson Sword, you know, their new sort of double-edged entry thing. I say new, it's a little while, a uh, little, you know, a couple of months, if not a year old now. Um, I would say that's considerably better than this. This is a mild razor. It's shaved other than a tiny little weeper under my uh, lip there. It shaved a good close shave, you know, I've, I had two and a half days of stubble there. It's taken all that off, no trouble at all. It hasn't nicked or savaged me except a little nick under my lip. Uh, it's done a good job, but is that down to the razor or is it down to the razor blade? I'm inclined to say I do like the old feathers razor blades. Um, I don't think this razor is fantastic. I really will be using this, I think, in future. Um, but I'm being honest, that's what I, my findings are today. So there we go. That's it, another shave done in the great British outdoors. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for sharing some of your time with me for my outdoor shave of the day. And uh, if you have, please give me a thumbs up and I would be delighted if you subscribed and joined us for the rest of our journeys here at The Chaps Guide Together. Until then, please take care, look after yourselves and I will step back to salute you as you go.